chicken. <laughs> Hi everyone, Jody and Justin here of Jay's Haven. And today we're talking about all the conversations that we've had with everybody lately about egg prices going up and whether or not they should raise their own chickens. I know I've been approached an awful lot lately looking for eggs, uh, wondering what it takes to raise a few backyard chickens, things like that. Have you heard much on your end? Uh, I've heard a lot of people saying that uh, they want to grab some chickens and raise their own eggs. Yeah? Yeah? Do you get asked for eggs a lot too at your job? No. Yeah? Not really, because I don't work with that many people. <laughs> That's true. That's true. I, on the other hand, I, I get approached almost every day, and it, it's difficult at times to keep up with them. So the reason we're being approached so often is, as everybody's saying, those egg prices are skyrocketing. And why would that be? I mean, why would we see them steadily on the rise? Gas prices, feed prices, all of it goes into a mix, and yeah. Yeah. everything costs more. <clears throat> You know, definitely everything is on its way up and we're hearing a, a lot of talk about how the pandemic of course played a role in, in the supply chain, uh, fuel prices like Justin mentioned. Uh, we also had a big outbreak of the bird flu recently so yeah, they had to put down a lot of chickens. Yeah, hundreds of thousands I mm -hmm. think it was, wasn't it? Yeah. Yep. So all of that just sounds like, you know, very good reasons right as to why these prices would go up but on the other hand when you start digging in and really doing some research on the commercial egg production companies uh, their profits are rising too so it's very interesting not at all what you would expect after a big outbreak of bird flu and things like that so what that says to me is they feel that you know, these are things that some of us buy no matter what. So we're likely to keep on paying those prices. They're things that we need and we just kind of take it, right? Well, you don't necessarily have to. You can, you can fight back a little bit here too. Um, there is a video that I watched recently. Brandon of White Pepper Farms has a, a very good video where he has dug in and done a, a ton of research. So he can give you all those figures and show you what those company profits are actually doing. So I'm going to link that video in the description box and I highly recommend watching it. And if you're considering doing your own backyard chickens, for instance, too, uh, he's got a lot of really good information on that as well. You might, you might save a few bucks here and there, but for the most part, it's a lot of friggin' work. Chickens are dirty. Yuck. I know. Oops. They're kind of gross little animals, aren't they? Myrtle, you gotta wait until we're done cleaning. She's complaining. I think she wants to come in and lay an egg also. I know. Yeah. Really? You have to clean their coop. You have to make sure they have food and water at least twice a day. Um, feed is not cheap. If you can figure out how to do your own feed, that would save you more money but for the most part I don't know if it's worth it <laughs> <laughs> really that's you can see you don't know if it's worth it oh no no I yeah. mean I love my chickens They're oh fun. trust me the chickens are Justin's thing they are his babies yes so don't let him fool you when he says he doesn't know if it's worth it I've mentioned how people are willing to pay different prices for the eggs we only ask a few bucks, like right now we're getting about $4 a dozen from our co-workers and things like that. Family, close friends, um, some of our clientele, we will give some free eggs occasionally. What I will say though is, you know, if, if somebody tells you that they're willing to give you farm fresh eggs for a few bucks a dozen, I, I would pounce on that quickly. 
uh, you know, I had one guy, just one, that kind of balked at the price. And he said, well, you're only like a dollar, well, actually $2 less than what I'm paying at the store. And so sometimes I think people make the assumption that they should be able to get those eggs for next to nothing if it's not coming from the store. But the truth is you've got to keep in mind, kind of like Justin said earlier, there's a lot that goes into this. The the bedding, the feed, the vet care, the different medicine that they yeah, need. I didn't even mention the bedding. Oh, right. And, and all of that's going up in price. So, you know, and we haven't gotten to a point where we've gotten away from commercial feed entirely yet. We're doing some research there. We're adding in other things. But all of the things, no matter what you do, if you're mixing your own feed, all of those prices are going up. So... Again, if you're lucky enough to have somebody nearby that can get you farm fresh eggs, I would jump on it. Don't barter on the price. That's hard work, huh, Han? And if you save a buck or two, it's well worth it. Yeah, we're paying, oh, I would say five our to six at, at most of our stores, and in some areas it's quite a bit higher than that, too. Yeah, and if you look at a bag of feed, it's like 20 bucks. A bag of the bedding is $7. And then you have water and time, and you have to clean their poop, and they poop a lot. <laughs> yes, they do poop a lot. Uh, poop. <laughs> yeah. So let's talk about why farm fresh eggs are better. In my opinion, they are worth every bit that you would pay in the store and actually worth more. I, I think having experienced what we have now, uh, I don't think either one of us would want to get store-bought eggs anymore now that we know how much better they are. Absolutely not. They're so much fluffier yeah. and they have a better taste. Mm -hmm. The incredible edible egg. Wah! A much richer flavor. You'll notice that the yolks are oftentimes darker. Um, just such a, a big difference. There's been a lot of tests on the nutritional values and they are proven to be higher in the good stuff and lower in the bad stuff. And so there's more vitamin A, more vitamin E, the omega-3 fatty acids and the beta carotenes that you need, all of that. The protein is quite a bit higher. And that bad stuff that you hear about, the cholesterol and things like that, um, those things, the saturated fat, those are all much lower in a farm fresh egg. And why would that be? You look at, at our chickens and most of the chickens that are being raised by people we know, and most of the time they are free range when they can be. Of course, winter time they tend to be a little more cooped up, but in the summer they're free ranging. They're eating a lot of bugs for protein and they're scratching around on the ground like they're meant to do and therefore just all around healthier, happier birds. And that of course means a much healthier egg production. And a lot less money in feed. That's for sure. In the winter it might cost you actually about the same amount as buying it in the store. In the summer if you're able to let them eat bugs and grasses and things like that, that they like then you're gonna save a few bucks yeah commercial egg producers they have a tendency to keep these birds in tiny little cages very unhealthy conditions um, raising them just on a bulk feed the bare necessities to get by with basically so again not healthy in that situation and not happy in that situation so and i feel every animal i, I don't care if you feel it's insignificant that it's a chicken but i feel every animal has to have their mental health taken into consideration so we're all pretty eccentric people that raise chickens and and i can say that we love them we put a lot of love into them we do yeah yes <laughs> going for a walk on a beautiful sunshiny day right samson <laughs> What are you doing in the barn, Charlotte? <laughs> Come on, Stinker. Back outside. 
I'll bring you more treats. Is raising chickens for you? Um, I think we've decided that raising chickens is for us. We're planning to add to the flock this summer, probably. I guess we are. <laughs> That's news to Justin. I told you, I swear. I told you guys you. said you said you guys were talking about it, but yeah, Crystal and I are making plans. What can I say? So sometimes people say that chickens are easy keepers. You know, we have a lot of people that that are saying, "I'll just get a few chickens of my own." Not that I'm against that. I'm not. I think it's a great idea. But again, you've got to understand what's involved. So, do you think they're easy keepers? They're easy keepers, but the cleanup is the worst part. So if you don't have a strong stomach, <laughs> don't get chickens because they poop a lot. They, they do poop an awful lot, actually. You and just they poop wherever they want to. Poop, yeah. They don't care where they poop. They just poop everywhere. Yeah. Right. So again, there is some work involved and you know, it's not that they're hard to take care of, but the cleanup is a big deal for some. And chickens do have certain bacteria and things that they can carry. You can get very sick. Uh, you need to have some common sense, of course, when dealing with your chickens and, um, and cleaning the coop and things like that. The other thing to take into consideration is that chickens themselves are prone to certain illnesses and parasites and mites and so they need care for those things and, and it, dirt and yeah yeah <laughs> yeah ours had mites because they were in the spring when the mice started coming they got mites because we didn't have anywhere for them to give themselves the, themselves the dirt bath that they need to do so we had to deal with that as well so we're learning so we went from one to eleven chickens when we had the flock and then we got six more in the summer and we lost three of those unfortunately and we've lost two of the ten so we're down from what we had and that's yeah you have to be careful because they can get coccidia that's from the other thing, yeah. eating stuff off the ground so you have to make sure that you do something to prevent they have preventative medicine and you can put it in their water or whatever, but you have to do that as well to keep them from be getting sick. Right. And dewormers, same thing. Some yeah. of those you can put in the water. And some of those medications, you actually have to lay off the eggs for two to three weeks, I think it was. I just um, feed them to my sister. <laughs> That's not Angie, he's just kidding. Don't yeah, listen I'm to kidding. him. Don't listen to him. I wouldn't let him do that. Anyway, he talked about losing some chickens, um, and that is something you have to kind of get used to, too. They're kind of delicate in some ways, uh, especially as they get older. And, and for some breeds of chicken, three to four years is, is getting up there. And then there's other hybrids that will live to eight years old or so. Um, but, you know, our local veterinarian, the, she uh, actually told us that you can kind of plan on an average of 25% loss of your flock per year. Now, again, that's an average. So you might have three, four years where nothing happens at all. And then all of a sudden due to an illness or perhaps even due to a predator, it just wipes out a good portion of your flock. And my sister actually learned that the hard way. She went four years and then all of a sudden the coyote came around and got them all figured out and killed pretty much her whole original flock. Yep, and I had a contractor who had 10, 15 chickens and same thing. He thought he had his coop pest proof and something got in there and ate them all. So I don't know if any of this has helped you or not. If you decide to raise your own chickens, uh, good for you, good for you. And again, there's a wealth of information. One of the things that I forgot to mention earlier um, regarding the difference between farm fresh eggs and store-bought eggs, if you're questioning the nutritional values there, a lot of good information out there on that. 
One of my favorite websites and blogs is from Mother Earth News. I will link to those articles down below also. Um, the other one is one called morningchores.com. A uh, very good blog on there too that talks a lot about the, the different nutritional values. Good information on those. Um, and again, good for you if you decide to join the, the club of the crazy chicken people. Come on, chicken, chicken. Come on, chicken, chicken. Come on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> If you decide that raising chickens is not for you, then you know, please do support your local farmers or give a few bucks to that neighbor you have that's doing a few backyard chickens that's willing to spare some eggs for you. And let's take some of the control back out of the hands of those big commercial companies. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You think so mm -hmm. too? Yep. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to the channel. Till next time. Did you have a good day? Hmm? Good night, babies.